today we're gonna do kind of a quick intro to an RMS mill. Uh, this here is our nine by six double pair. Uh, what we've got on the top there, we have two inlets for if you have a flex auger, chain disc, any kind of incoming conveyance coming from a silo or a bulk bag rack, you know, whatever it is, you can use those inlets to bring material into the mill without having to open up the lid. If you don't have any of that, we do have this lid up top for hand dumping, you know, 55 pound bags in the top of the mill. It's got a nice gasket on there so that we keep everything nice and dust tight. Uh, right here, we've got a slide gate that has this locking uh, screw on here so that you can keep a consistent amount of flow through your, through your mill. And that just slides in and out. The further out, the more open the gate is, obviously. Um, moving on from there, we've got our adjustments here. This just uses a 15 16 wrench to rotate this counterclockwise to open the rolls, clockwise to close the rolls. And by manipulating that, you can adjust your grind if you want a coarse grind, finer grind. Whatever you're looking for, you can use those adjustments to kind of adjust on the fly and, and uh, get your ideal grind. To make ensure that you are getting your ideal grind, we have down here the sample port. So you open that up and you use this included sample tube, insert it into the mill to collect a sample. And then you can get a live look at what's coming out of your mill uh, and then decide if you need to adjust it, if you need to open it up to make it coarser or if you need to close, uh, tighten the rolls up to, to get a finer grind. Also on the front here, you see we've got these grease circs where you can put any standard grease gun on. And from there, there's grease lines that bring the grease into the bearings, which are really the, the main parts that you're trying to keep uh, lubricated. Um, these are self-purging bearings, so you can't over-grease them. If you pump them full of grease, you might end up with a mess in here with grease all over the place, but you won't damage the bearing. Recommend that you reference your manual to make sure that you are using the proper grease. Um, but other than that, if you have any questions, make sure you give us a call, reach out, uh, let us know. One other thing for the discharges on our mill, we build them kind of a symmetrical so that if you have it set up in one direction, if you decide that you want to switch it over, and discharge out the other direction. It's just a matter of unbolting the discharge, flipping it around, and you can set it up to go out the other way.